We made it. We made it to another 9 a.m. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, good morning. Welcome to Hamil Talk. We'll be talking only about the musical Hamilton, and we'll be only using quotes from the musical Hamilton to talk about it. We're nonstop, guys. What happened to your, your microphone? Doesn't work. No, you just eat your donuts first. Wait for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now is the time when uh, we stand in front of you, or in this case, sit in front of you. And uh, and uh, you get to yell at us. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's Tuesday in the British House of Lords. Yeah, that's right. It's basically Tuesday in the British House of Lords, except on the high seas. Uh, no, this is a time when we like to uh, hear from you and give you an opportunity to ask uh, ask questions about uh, what plans are for the future, how things are going now. We like to like to hear what you guys uh, think and are interested in and concerned about. Which is why we get up early in the morning. Though so I would like, uh, until a second ago, I would like to open things up by noting that Steve Jackson, until a moment ago, was sitting there in that chair with tented fingers, looking for all the world like a Bond villain. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure that uh, your first question will involve how this ship turns into a giant uh, submersible. I thought it already was a submarine. Well, it was decreed a submarine, but it is not a submarine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's it. Any and all questions, thoughts, comments, praise? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I've been doing, this, this question has been uh, just, just boring. Oh, goody. I hope it's a 55-minute <laughs> lead-up. <laughs> My question is in seven months. <laughs> Celebrity D&D &D is the general crux of that, uh, and I think there's a very high likelihood that is a thing that will happen in one way, shape, or form. We absolutely, um, you know, we, we've done, uh, for those of you who haven't been on the cruise, the previous three years, we, we value finding events that will mix and match performers, especially in settings that are amenable to a group of gamers and such. So we've, for the past three years, had a, a, a live uh, tipsy or drunk Artemis night. <laughs> drunk. Drunk. <laughs> uh, and those have gone very well. We're, we're trying something a little new this year just because uh, we did Artemis three years in a row. We wanted to change things up a little bit. But one, you know, the one strong lesson we've taken home from all of that is people really enjoy seeing that sort of thing and, and the, the, the players, the celebrities, as much as the audience. Uh, so we're absolutely planning to have uh, that sort of element. I, you know, it's not like the programming is in stone. But that's absolutely one of the things we talked about, like a, a celebrity D&D &D game, uh, whether or not it's on a stage, uh, or, uh, Acquisitions Incorporated style, or if it's just sort of a come watch in this particular venue, the, the uh, celebrities play and learn as you, play, as you learn, uh, absolutely is, is definitely something we have in mind. And, and beyond that, it's certainly in our, in our grand architecture to set aside, to look at and anything we say about 17 is of course perfect. But setting aside some space for playing RPGs and Dungeons and Dragons, we know we know it's something that people love to do, uh, and so we want to make sure there is room for it. All right, well, if you're looking for a DM of the seas, I have a card. <laughs> <laughs> By all means. Yeah, please, please do, please do. Hand it to anyone but me, because I'm the master of immediately using these cards. Oh, and a QR code, fantastic. Awesome. Uh, that's the modules I brought on this cruise. Oh, oh really? Cool. <laughs> Thank you. That's, I've been giving those to the players this year. Do you, when you scan it, do those modules magically appear in front of you? I don't understand QR codes or how they work. <laughs> it's like it's an like, augmented reality thing if you point your phone at it, okay. there's a dragon on it. Is that like a, is that like a very, very small, flat 3D printer? Is that how that works? <laughs> oh. Little tiny figurines that go on top of it. That's right. <laughs>
Yeah. Other question? Okay. Well, thank All you right. very much. <laughs>